Today I'm going to give you a tour of the Cramdens apartment from the TV show The Honeymooners, including their bedroom and bathroom. You're probably thinking, the bedroom and bathroom? They were never actually shown, were they? So how am I able to show you rooms that never appeared during the series? Watch and find out. Hi, I'm Marina Coates. Welcome to Behind the Scenes, where we get up close and personal with all your favorite TV and movie homes. Almost every scene in The Honeymooners was shot in that tiny, cramped room centered around the kitchen table. We never got the chance to peek at the Cramden's bedroom or bathroom. But today you'll get to tour the entire apartment, including those two rooms. I had to do a little detective work to make that happen, but luckily there were plenty of clues to help me pull it all together. Let's get started. The Cramdens, Ralph and Alice, lived on Chauncey Street in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn, New York City. Interestingly, the very same street name that the young Jackie Gleason himself grew up on. It's a small apartment with only one bedroom and one bath. There isn't even a sofa. They sit on one of only three hard chairs, even when they relax to watch TV. It gives a claustrophobic feeling to the set. Some people speculate that the name Cramden was meant to allude to the idea of being crammed into that tiny space. One curious feature to their apartment, which was obviously done for staging purposes, is that their front door opens out into the hallway, making it a bit difficult when visitors come to the door as they have to open it outward to let them in. We see them in possession of a TV set at times, but most of the time, not. When we tour the apartment, you will see the fourth wall, which is never shown to us during the series. This is where the audience and cameras were placed. But we do catch a glimpse of the corner of their bedroom and a small hallway past that. That hallway wouldn't have gone to a bathroom as that was already in their bedroom. And there couldn't even be a closet there because it would have encroached on where we know the wall of their bedroom to be. So I just left it as a nook and placed a dresser there for additional storage. There wouldn't have been a window on the fourth wall either because there are already windows here and here. To have a window on the fourth wall would mean the apartment building was only 14 and a half feet wide and that just doesn't seem plausible. We'll take the tour in color now, but at the end of this episode, as a bonus feature, you will also have an opportunity to watch the full tour in black and white, the way we all remember it. The Norton's apartment was placed directly above the Cramden's apartment. We know this because we often see them yelling out the window to the Norton's up above. And when we get chances to see the Norton's apartment, we notice that they share the same layout as the Cramden's in the kitchen and living area. The Norton's apartment, however, is considerably nicer looking with cheery wallpaper and nice curtains at the windows, but the layout is clearly the same. It only makes sense then that the rest of the apartment floor plan would also be the same. We get to see the Norton's bedroom as well as a peek of their bathroom at one point. And in one episode, Alice makes a reference to the closet being in their bedroom. That helped me figure out what this door in the Norton's bedroom actually led to, as all of the other doors were already accounted for. That helped me surmise the floor plan of the Cramden's bedroom and bathroom and is what I used to create the rooms. The most we ever saw of the Cramden's bedroom was just this far in as they opened the door to enter. However, in Audrey Meadows' autobiography, Love, Alice, she describes her vision of what that bedroom might have looked like if we'd been able to see it. In fact, she does so in great detail. A bedroom that once again was never actually seen on the show, but comes to life through the imagination of the actress who played Alice. I used all of this information to finish the creation of Ralph and Alice's bedroom and bath. After all, who else would have known better? Audrey described the room this way. 
I imagine the crammed-in bedroom was not up to the sumptuous decor of their living room kitchen. Since Ralph believed firmly that it was dumb to decorate a room where you spent most of your time with your eyes closed. A bedroom requires a bed. Everything else was extravagance. Well, he had a bed all right, a bed big enough to support a man of some substance, and Ralph Cramden was very substantial. Alice's one treasure was a well-worn green teddy bear with one eye missing, which Ralph won for her at a carnival. The lone window had no curtains, just a single shade with a mind of its own. Alice had a three-drawer dresser handed down from previous owners. On it was a bowl of plastic flowers, dusted daily, to add a feminine touch to the room. Ralph had a four-drawer dresser, one drawer for raccoon regalia. Taped to the mirror above was Ralph's Bus Driver of the Month Award. There was no carpeting, but a yellow rattan mat laid by the bed, which informed, Asbury Park loves you. Now let's tour the closet and bathroom. There was very little storage in the Cramden household, so this must have been where they kept some of their larger items. After we tour the bathroom, I will then take us on a quick tour of the entire apartment in one loop. If you want to see it in black and white, that will be coming up at the end. I crunched the numbers and the Cramden's apartment comes in at 527 square feet. The current cost of a one bedroom, one bathroom apartment of this size in Bensonhurst today is $1,550 a month. The average salary of a bus driver in Brooklyn now is $37,000 a year. I'll leave it up to you to see if you think they could have afforded the apartment they were in. Stick around for the bonus feature at the end where I'll take us on a tour of the entire apartment in black and white, the way we remember it. Subscribe if you don't want to miss any future TV and movie home tours. But as for today, that's a wrap. See you next time on Behind the Scenes.